Let's talk about reflections. Now, recall how to reflect the graph y equals f of x across the x-axis. All you have to do is put a minus sign in front of the f of x, right? y equals minus f of x flips the graph across the x-axis. But how do you reflect it across the y-axis? Well, instead of flipping the y values, you want to flip the x values. So you replace the x with minus x. And that'll reflect your graph across the y-axis. So let's consider an example. y equals 2 to the negative x. This is a reflection of what parent function? Well, it's y equals 2 to the x, right? This will be a reflection of y equals 2 to the x. Now to see this, let's graph the two of them together. So I want to graph y equals 2 to the x and y equals 2 to the negative x together. Recall that y equals 2 to the x is one of our parent functions and it has this shape, sort of an upward sweeping curve, passes through the point 0, 1, and it's got a horizontal asymptote on the x-axis, or y equals 0. Let's uh, plot a few points. So we've got u and 2 to the u. I'm going to change variables to make it easier to transform. Uh, and I'm going to pick easy values of u, like negative 1, 0, and 1, to evaluate 2 to the u. 2 to the negative 1 is a half. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 2. So those are nice and easy. And then to make the transformation, I'm going to make the change of variables negative x equals u. So if I let u equal negative x, then x equals negative u. And all I have to do is change the sign of these values. So one, minus 1 becomes 1. 0 stays the same. And 1 becomes negative 1. But if negative x equals u, then really I just have the 2 to the u values here. So these values just get copied over. And so I'm going to plot these two functions. First, 2 to the x. Negative 1, 1 half, 0, 1, and 1, 2. And I've got my recognizable 2 to the x graph that looks like this. Now what about y equals 2 to the negative x? Let me choose another color. I have 1 comma 1 half. I have 0, 1, so it passes through this point, and negative 1, 2. So it's going to look like this. So, as predicted, it's a reflection. It's a reflection of our parent graph, y equals 2 to the x. This is y equals 2 to the negative x. Just remember, any time you take a function and you replace its x with a minus x, you reflect the graph around the y-axis. And that's it.